Welcome, my dear friends. Welcome back to the part 17 of JavaFX tutorial. This is the part 17 of JavaFX and the part 2 of our database connectivity. Uh, in the last episode, I showed you, uh, I showed you how you can retrieve the data from JavaFX from database using the uh, GPA. In this section, I want to show you how you how you can create data okay so let's let's start so in fxml file uh, here let's add some text field okay mm, some text field okay and copy this three one okay Copy this and this. Okay, and this is student name, and this is student student username. Okay and remove this and instead of this use a password field okay uh, password field this is a prompt text this is student password and let's add a button also uh, the button name is create okay the button name is create so add some id field name field username and field password for button we doesn't need a field but instead of field we need uh, method for example on save on save student okay on save just on save on save student okay and then save it and come to here and make your controller okay make controller now as you can see the three text field is added here and also a method on save student added here we don't need the action event right now and here now let's now let's create a method save okay public void and instead of void i want to make a boolean the name is save save student okay save student and which take a parameter student okay and here let's use a try catch this try catch uh, in, this, in, this, uh, in this try catch we make a transaction by en.get transaction dot begin and also dot commit and then return the true okay if there was some exception we return false okay and instead of begin and commit we persist we make persist the student okay this student which passed here now copy this come to the main controller 
and by std f std can dot students from here you should add a student okay okay and this student let's make let's make it student student Seed is equal to so from here <coughs> let's make it okay now this is okay std is equal to new student okay and we, we call the std count if it was okay then what is up here okay new alert okay new alert from javafix at control alert type dot confirmation uh, the student the student the student no new student has been has been created okay and the button type is close okay dot show so this is okay otherwise otherwise hmm, copy this this here okay and instead of confirmation here is arrow uh, new seed and creation felt new seed and creation felt okay so let's run but before run std dot set name field name dot get text okay cd that set password and filled password that get text and username that get text cd that set username okay so this is okay now let's also make a method public void clear fields okay and in this method just filled username field name that clear okay field username and felt password now they are okay and call it if it has been created successfully clear fields <coughs> okay that's right and let's run let's run okay for example, Nassim, 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 and oh, we didn't change the, this pattern, okay? Let's, okay, that's okay. New student has been created. Now, as you can see, oh, nice, it's created just go to the scene builder and change the text to create and also save it and return back to netbin 
and here call the data that add this std okay let's run again for example navit navit password is something like this create oh new season has been created it's also added to the table okay that's nice also it's added to the database okay that's nice thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye and don't forget to subscribe my channel